Man, well, it is a good day to be in the house in person or if you're watching online because today is Confirmation Sunday. And so here's what I want to share with you. 16 young people, middle and high school students, yes. 16 students this morning are being confirmed in their faith, which means that they're claiming a firsthand faith in Jesus. Amen. It means that their faith is no longer secondhand from someone else or something else, that their faith is their own. It's firsthand. They're taking responsibility and ownership for growing in their faith. So we're going to confirm eight students at this service, and we're going to see four of them get baptized, two of them reaffirming their baptism and two of them getting baptized for the first time. And we are so excited. So I don't want to waste any more time. Do you just want to dive in? Well, just tell them who you are. Well, I'm Taylor, but you don't care about that. Yeah. (laughs) Just help the guests, you know. You know. They're like, who are these dudes up there? Who are these two guys talking? And I'm I'm Wes. uh, We're pastors here, believe it or not. Anyway. <laughs> for now, they let us do this. I know, yeah, at least for today. But it's a good day to be a pastor here because yeah. we're going to celebrate. We want you to celebrate with us. So uh, we know all of heaven is going to rejoice when uh, one of these young people come out, out of this water. And so we're going to join in that party, okay? So as soon as they come up out, then you need to bring the praise of heaven onto their lives, okay? Yeah. Some of you are practicing already. That's good. I think They're warmed up. They're ready. I think we're ready. So that extra gonna... hour of sleep helped them. That's true. This is a good day for that. <laughs> Favorite Sunday of the year. Yeah. So I want to invite up first Emma and her family. Emma, come on up here. All right, Emma. And Emma, um, I want, I'm going to read as they're making their way into the, into the baptism. I'm going to read um, a little bit about, we asked each student that's getting baptized why they're excited. So here's what Emma said. So the reason I'm being baptized is because I want to be baptized in my Methodist church after being baptized in Catholic church first. I also would like to be baptized because I saw my mother did it and how it changed her life for the best. You can see the difference in her life and she is super happy and I want to be like her and I want God to change my life. So Emma, so excited for you. Why don't you have a seat? All right. If you want to hold your nose, now's the opportunity. And you're going (laughs) to reaffirm your baptism today. And so today, Emma... Remember your baptism and keep it holy in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. There we go. All right. We're going to pray for you, okay? All right. Let's, uh, you'll extend a hand. Let's pray for Emma. Lord, Emma takes her faith seriously in you, and Lord, we thank you that you first loved her. So we pray your blessing on her today that she would know she's a daughter of the Most High God and that she is a child of God and person of worth. Lord, never let her forget this moment where you are claiming her and naming her as your very own. We pray this with grateful hearts in Jesus' name. And everybody agreeing said, amen. 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 One more time, let's thank God for Emma. All right, now, would Michael and his family, Michael and his family, would you all make your way over here? So here's why Michael, I I love this. Michael, simply put, here's why he wants to be baptized. Here's why he's excited. I want to be baptized to help me follow Jesus more closely. All right. That's what it's all about. Michael, come on, I can help you get in the tank, okay? All right, Michael. You got it. Whoa! We got you. You good? You. All right, just keep scooting. Keep on scooting. All right, y'all come around this way. I got baptized a little bit, yeah. <laughs> Reaff. <laughs> Everybody's everybody's getting wet. So Michael's reaffirming his baptism today. He's got his family and his friends here. So Michael, would you hold your nose? All right. There you go. And you ready? Today, Michael, remember your baptism and keep it holy. In the name of the Father. Amen. All right. Stay right there. We're going to pray for you. Okay. All right. If you'll extend a hand. Lord, today we thank you for Michael. We thank you, Lord, that he is a man after your own heart. And Jesus, we pray your blessing on him, that you would help him to know that he is always loved, that he is a child of God and a person of worth, a cog pal. That's his identity and nothing can take that away from him. So Lord, we thank you that he is loved and he has been adopted into your family. And we pray this in Jesus' name. And everybody Greek said, Amen. Amen. All right. All right. All right, now we have two students now that are getting baptized for the first time. And so I want to invite Grady and Lydia. Would you stand where you are? Right there. Grady and Lydia. Let's thank God for Grady and Lydia this morning. All right. And Grady and Lydia, let me ask you these uh, important questions today, remembering that all of us have sinned and fallen short of God's glory. 
And today, God wants to claim you as his very own. This gift of baptism helps us to know that we are claimed, we are cleansed, and we are called by God. So here are these questions. Do you truly and earnestly repent of your sin and accept Jesus Christ as your Savior? If so, say, I do. All right. Do you believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, and in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life? If so, say, I do. Do you desire to be baptized in the Christian faith? If so, say, I do. Will you then obediently keep God's holy will and commandments and walk in the same all the days of your life? If so, say, I will by God's help. All right. All right, Grady. Come on, Grady. And Grady's family can come up here now. Here's what Grady said about wanting to be baptized. Grady said, I want to accept God into my life and make my own decision to follow him. I want to have my own faith in God and follow him by myself and not just through my parents. There we go. All right, so Grady's here to be baptized for the first time in his life. And so, Grady, hold your nose. (laughs) And today, we baptize you in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. May God work in you. Always. We're going to pray for him. You want to put your hands on him? Let's, Let's bless Grady today. Lord, thank you so much for this young man who today is declaring his faith in you. And Lord, thank you that he is marked now as your very own, your beloved son. And Lord, thank you for all those who have loved him and brought him to this moment. And Lord, we now entrust him to you. And we thank you that your plans for him are good. And Lord, you want to walk with him all the days of his life. He's your masterpiece. And Lord, mark him as a child of God and person of worth today. Help that be his fundamental identity that's a gift from you. And we thank you for his baptism in Jesus' name. And everybody green said... Amen. Amen. One more time for Grady. Let's thank God. All right, I want to invite Lydia and her family up now. Here's what Lydia said about wanting to be baptized. Lydia said, I want to be baptized so I can understand who I am through God. I also want to do this so I can be closer to God, which could then mean I would be closer to my family who are in heaven. All right, Lydia's here today to be baptized. We love her and love her family today. So I want to invite you to hold your nose, all right? Today, we baptize you in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. You stay right there. I'm going to pray for you. All right, let's put her, let's bless her here. Lord, today, we thank you for Lydia. We, Lord, we would just rejoice over her life today. And we thank you that she is called by you and she belongs to you. And she is fearfully and wonderfully made in you. And Lord, today, help her to know that she's a daughter of the Most High God. Help her to know she's a child of God and a person of worth, a cogpow, an identity that can never be taken away from her. And Lord, she's marked now as your very own. And so today, Lord, we thank you for her life and pray your blessing on her. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Everybody green said, Amen. Amen. One more time, let's thank God. So friends, on mornings like this, I'm reminded of this true statement. I believe this to my core, but I hope you're reminded of it too. There's hope in the next generation. Amen? Yeah. As we prepare to confirm these students, I want to invite them who are being confirmed to please stand. As you take these important vows, these are promises that you make, but these are promises that actually make you And so let me ask you these words. Do you hear in the presence of God in this congregation renew the solemn promise and vow that you made or that was made in your name at your baptism? If so, say, I do. Do you confess Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior and pledge your allegiance to his kingdom? If so, say, I do. Do you receive and profess the Christian faith as contained in the scriptures of the Old and New Testaments? If so, say, I do. Do you promise, according to the grace given you, to live the Christian life and always remain a faithful member of Christ's holy church? If so, say, I do. All right. Y'all can have a seat, except for the first ones who are coming up. If you'll follow Pastor Taylor. 
And friends, we are all a part of this. Their families are going to come with them. And uh, after we confirm them, they'll speak a word of blessing over them. And our young people need your support these days. It is so hard to be a teenager. And so friends in the family of God, as one of my mentors said to me one day, uh, Wes, it's time for the church to be the church. And so we need to be the church and stand with these families. So let's get started. Right. Extra sermon over. <laughs> How's that? We have Emma up here. And Amber, her mother, is going to read her blessing right now. Dear Lord, I come before you today and ask that as Emma takes this next step to draw near you, may she sense you drawing near her as well. May she be reminded that she is worth far more than rubies, is clothed with strength and dignity, and has the power to speak with wisdom and faithfulness. I ask that you guide her through the amazing plan you have set for her, I thank you, Lord, for gifting her with such an amazing, loving, and giving heart. May you bless her as she grows in her faith, and may she be grounded and rooted in your word. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Let's put our hands on her head. Okay. Emma, may the Lord defend you with his heavenly grace, and by his spirit confirm you in the faith and fellowship of all true disciples of Jesus Christ. Amen. Let's thank God for Emma today again. Next up is Michael, and his brother William is actually getting confirmed too. So Robin's family, come on up. Michael, you're up first, okay? Go ahead and kneel for me. Yep, they're coming. You all right after that fall? Good thing the water caught you. Yeah, all right. All right. Now Michael's parents will read the, his blessing. <clears throat> to our sweet little man, Michael Braden, we love you. In Psalms 139, it says, I praise you because I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Your works are wonderful. I know that full well. We know that too. Our prayers and blessing to you today is that you continue to be who God created you to be. Your heart for others and service are present in, in you every day. We pray that you keep being the prayer warrior that you are. 1 Peter 4.10 says, as each has received a gift, use it to serve one another. As, God, as good stewards of God's varied grace, you are indeed. We love how you see the good in everybody and your heart of servanthood. We pray you will always follow your dreams of being who God designed you to be and keep praying your faithful faith will take you to places that you dream of. Michael, from Megan, your little sister, and my brother, I always wish that I will always see you helping people and helping Daddy, like you always do, and holding me up to see the stars. I just love you for you to be you. Michael, may you always have the confidence to know your self-worth, the strength to chase your dreams, and the ability to know how truly deeply you are loved. Amen. All right, let's put our hands on Michael. Michael, may the Lord defend you with his heavenly grace and by his spirit confirm you in the faith and fellowship of all true disciples of Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Let's thank God for Michael today. All right. All right. Next up is William, his brother. To our big boy, William James Avery. As we celebrate you on your day of confirmation, our prayers of blessing are that you truly know you are dearly loved. Just as Colossians 3, 16, 17 says, we pray that you are clothed with compassion, kindness, humility, gentleness, and patience to forgive as the Lord forgives you. Above all this, put on love which binds them all together in perfect unity. May the peace of Christ rule in your heart. Always be thankful, and as we are all called to peace. We pray that you never doubt our love for you and God's love for you. We hope that you never let go of your dreams to be a secret agent, NCIS, ninja, and live on to one day be the president. You never know. <coughs> just know that we love you just the way you are, no matter what. And 
William, from Megan, your little sister, I love you when you ask me to play police or whatever we, you do. It makes me happy. Me and Bear Bear love you to see you smile. And lastly, as you grow in Christ, Christ will make his home in your heart as you trust in him. Your roots will grow down into God's love and keep you strong. May you have the power to understand, as all God's people should, how wide, how long, how high, and how deep his love is. May you experience the love of Christ through it, though it is too great to understand fully. Then you will be made complete with all the fullness of life and power that comes from God. William, may the Lord defend you with his heavenly grace and confirm you in the true spirit of all disciples of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. All right. Next up is Grady. Grady, come on out here. Grady, I couldn't be more proud or grateful that God chose me to be your mom. Throughout your life, you have continued to show others your kindness and resiliency, even through the stresses of the last few years. I pray that you will follow in these same, in these same ways, using your God-given gifts to always be respectful, helpful, and productive in your endeavors. May you continue to grow in your relationship with God, being the best version of yourself, and knowing that I will support, love, and cherish you as my son forever and for always. I love you. Grady, my G. You know, my prayer for you is about, about life. It's about that, uh, and if we've all learned anything in the last couple of months, it's ups and downs, and sometimes it's really tough. Uh, while we're all given grace by God freely, um, one of the things I want you to keep in mind is that as you grow with God, your effort and your attitude in all things, in your faith, in your endeavors, and in, in everything you do, it's about effort and attitude. And uh, my prayer is that uh, as you grind through life, you continue to grind with God. Amen. Grady, may the Lord defend you with his heavenly grace and by his spirit confirm you in the faith and fellowship of all true disciples of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. All right, let's thank God for Grady. All right, next up is Lydia. Lydia, today is one of the most important days in your lifelong spiritual journey to be more like Jesus. Even though there have been and will be times in your life when you feel like you aren't good enough or worthy enough, always remember that you are made in the image of God and because of this, you are perfect. You are smart, beautiful, and kind. You are the best sister to Sadie and you are a friend that anyone would be privileged to have. You have compassion and empathy for others and always put others before yourself. When you don't feel worthy or when you don't feel close to God, always remember that he is with you and will never leave you. Continue to pray and ask God to be with you and protect you, and he will do just that. We pray today that God remains with you through the ups and downs in your faith journey, and we pray that you continue to seek God's wisdom and guidance as you grow closer to Jesus and live as the perfect creation that you are and that he created you to be. Keep being yourself and don't conform to the ways of the world. Remember that you are a child of God and person of worth. When times get tough and you start feeling alone and unworthy, God is still with you, even what might seem like the worst moments. And Papa Buford is looking down from heaven today, smiling upon you. We love you and we are so very proud of you. Lydia, the Lord defend you with his heavenly grace. And by his spirit, confirm you in the faith and fellowship of all true disciples of Jesus Christ. Amen. Let's thank God together for Lydia.
All right, next up is AJ. AJ, we are excited for you today on this day of your confirmation. God has a special plan for your life and we want you to remember he is with you every day and everywhere you go. We have watched you grow and become an amazing young man. We are all so proud of you. As you continue to learn and grow, we want you to draw strength from your firsthand faith. You have been given many gifts and God has a specific purpose for your life. You are the only one who has been made exactly like you. Your kindness and loving measure, nature are two strengths that help make this community and this world a better place. There may be days you, when you feel like your faith is not enough and it's hard to live a Christian life. When life gets hard, don't give up. Trust that God will provide you with everything you need. Our prayer is that you will remain on the path leading you towards the purpose in life as God has decided and to keep your ability to see good in all situations and all people. We pray that you remain close to those who will guide you in your faith, and we pray that humor and laughter will always remain abundant in your life. You've worked hard for this day, and we have never been prouder of your decision to acknowledge your firsthand faith and trust God to lead you where he wants you to go. AJ, may the Lord defend you with his heavenly grace, and by his spirit confirm you in the faith and fellowship of all true disciples of Jesus Christ. Amen. Let's thank God together for AJ. <laughs> Next up is Cody. Okay. All right. Cody. Ever since we found out God created you, we were excited and you were so loved. We've always known God has big plans for you. You have endured so much in your young life and you have always shown strength and grace. You are wise beyond your years and our lives are forever changed for the better. You bring such joy to us and everyone around you. We are lucky to be your parents and thank God every day you were chose for us. There was a time when your future was unknown, but God has blessed and always taken care of you. Now as a young man, you are kind, compassionate, and always willing to help others. You love God and have a huge heart. Our hope for you in the future is that you never change who you are today and continue to follow your dreams. You can do anything you set your mind to. Keep God close in your heart and never stop learning about him. Always remember he is by your side. We are so excited to watch you grow into a young adult and see where your journey takes you. We're so proud and love you so very, very much. We're uh, blessed today to be able to, to bless Cody as we have uh, joined together in praying for him through the, uh, lots of ups and downs. You're, you're literally a young man after my own heart when it comes to uh, heart, heart trouble goes. And we are so thankful for this moment where you're becoming a young man and accepting your faith uh, for your firsthand experience of God. And so we're proud of you. So let's put our hands on him and let's confirm him together. Cody, may the Lord defend you with his heavenly grace and by his spirit confirm you in the faith and fellowship of all true disciples of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. All right, let's thank God for Cody. <laughs> Next up, Gavin. Gavin, you were created by God, and we know you were placed in our family for a reason. We pray that you never lose your edge, kind heart, and that you continue to grow in Christ. May you always know you are loved, not only by your family, but by God also. Gavin, may the Lord defend you with his heavenly grace, and by his spirit confirm you in the faith and fellowship of all true disciples of Jesus Christ. Amen. And let's give God thanks today. Gavin. Well, friends in the household of faith, we also are a part of these 
promises. Taylor, won't you stay up here with us <laughs> since you're our youth pastor? Uh, this is a brave man, and uh, in case you don't believe it, he's got a middle school lock-in this weekend coming up. So um, well, we're thankful for your ministry, and your team is here. And if you're part of our student ministry team, if you'd stand up. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Let's thank God for these yeah. folks oh, that are around. There, yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. All, right. all right, and now I want to invite all those who are confirmed, if you'll stand up and face this group. This is your church family, okay? We're the family of God, and we have a promise that we want to make uh, for you, and so if you'll go to that congregational vow, uh, please, in the back, uh, it says, we rejoice to recognize you. There we go. Uh, Friends of the household of faith, this is our response. Will you join me? We We rejoice rejoice to recognize you as a member of Christ's holy church and bid you welcome as a partner at Grace Church. With you, we renew our vows to uphold it by our prayers, presence, gifts, service, and witness. Amen. One more time, let's thank God for these young people. 